CropX combines advanced cloud technology with affordable sensors in the ground. CropX technology scans your field and analyzes its different zones. CropX, the internet of soil. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Vegetables West Magazine, reporting to you from the UC Cooperative Extension Research Station at Five Points, where today Central Valley growers gathered for a vegetable crop pest meeting. One of the presentations today featured Hung Dong from UC Davis, who talked about fusarium diseases, how to identify and control them. And here's Hung to talk a little about that. I work on fusarium disease of tomato. There are a number of fusarium that uh, affect tomato. You have crown rot. You have crown root rot, you have foot rot, and you have fusarium wilt. So the main point of this talk is to uh, let the farmer, farm advisor know that there are a number of fusarium diseases, how they are identified based on symptom, and how we identify them in the lab molecularly and with uh, different cultivars. So the main point is uh, fusarium disease is very devastating. Once they get into the field, it's established and you cannot eradicate it. Uh, Fusarium disease, uh, it colonizes other crops, so it can sustain itself basically indefinitely on other crops and weed. So very crucially, if you get Fusarium disease, uh, it's very important that you manage it. For Fusarium foot rot, you have this, uh, this brand, single branch that has uh, intravenal porosis and necro uh, necrosis. So it's kind of like flagging. Uh, the plants are kind of weak, but they're not dead. They're just kind of stunted. Uh, you have a lesion on the uh, foot, on a taproot, so that's that's distinct, distinctive of uh, Fusarium foot rot. For Fusarium crown rot, you have the crown that is uh, that's rotted. There's a lesion on the crown. Sometimes on the stem, this is a dry lesion, brown lesion on the crown or stem. The root is also this color. This color. The vascular tissue is this color, and you can see whole plant wilting, uh, yellowing. For Fusarium wilt, you have this flagging sometimes, a single branch turned yellow or half a branch turned yellow and it's flagging. You also have this vascular discoloration that's from the stem that runs all the way from the crown that runs all the way up to the stem. Based on symptom, you cannot, you cannot completely, completely identify which disease you have, so it takes time, patient training to be able to identify it. Uh, some of the management option you have is because these plants produce millions of spores in infected plants. They, they, don't, they do not produce millions of spores in non-infected plants. So in, in weed and in cover crops and stuff, they only colonize and sustain themselves, but they don't increase the population. So if you see infected plants you know, in your field, if it's, like, if it's a freshly established field and you see yellowing, uh, you know, the, the question is do you want to remove that plants to discard the spores? That's one way to manage it. The most important way to manage is resistant variety. For Fusarium wilt, you have resistant variety to all three race. For Fusarium crown rot, you have a variety else, uh, out there that's resistant to crown rot or tolerance to it. Uh, the fungus itself, Fusarium, do not produce million of spores in resistant plants. They just colonize the roots and sustain themselves. So the resistance is very, very crucial. Uh, cleaning machinery like harvester and your vine tr uh, trimmer is very important because that carries infected, if you have infected plants in your field, it carries infected plants from one field to another, from one farm to another, or one county to another. Uh, seed is another way. Uh, a lot of seeds, uh, if seeds are not treated, actually treated, or if you buy seeds that are contaminated, it's a, it's a source for, for the fungus to get around. Uh, recently, we have a new race in California, a uh, race three, a new genotype. It's from Florida, and it got to, uh, to California via seed. And based on our lab testing, we've been showing that uh, Fusarium is seed-borne. We take out seed, and we see that this fungus does colonize the seed, and it's asymptomatic in seedling plants, and it gets into a field and it establishes itself. And after a while, you planted uh, susceptible plants. This fungus colonizes, and it, it establishes itself, and you can't eliminate it. So make sure your seeds are treated with uh, hot water treated or, or acid treated before you plant them, and it's crucial to monitor your, your equipment. Thank you, Hung. Learn more about controlling pests and diseases in tomatoes by reading the industry's number one publication, Vegetables West Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.